So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. The old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Ah, poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. A strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. I wouldn't want to worry you, but I think I smell burnt eggs. I'm sorry. I told you, I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're gonna find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. 
What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't worry about it. I can manage the loan. I should be Excuse investigating me. Gordy Kramer right about now. I'm looking for the here grave I am, of a standing young boy in a cemetery, about pouring rain, ago. His looking for the John grave Shepherd. of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepherd. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God, oh, beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. 
John is waiting to give me a boost. I better catch up. going too fast. He never waits for me. Construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slowpoke. Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not? Things going down here. to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Here, it's as easy as pie.
Play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. Those cries. That's uh, John's voice. Uh, help. Uh, 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 if he's just messing with me, he's gonna regret it. Uh, help. Uh, help. Uh, uh, help. Gotta listen up uh, for him. I shall follow his... My foot... My foot is stuck. Grab on! I'll put it over there! <laughs> Kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years?
<laughs> Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. 